My name is Kendra Cole and we are in South Mississippi so it's really hot so excuse my sweating but I just finished installing my Max Air Fan Deluxe into my fiberglass roof on my van. So I see a lot of videos or I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they're going through like the Sprinter van and it's like metal roofs but this is fiberglass so we were kind of like there's no videos about that so here's one. Hope it doesn't suck. We're drilling a hole out so we drilled a small test hole first and everything seemed to be okay so then I went ahead and drilled out the whole entire space for the max air fan and everything turned out fine I weigh around 120 to 130 and so instead of like stepping directly on the fiberglass roof because this is like a 93 Vandura I would kind of like lay down and move around that way so I did most of it since my dad weighs a little bit more than me and he didn't want to get on the roof just in case it did crack it so just be careful if you're a bigger person or whatnot. So don't crack your roof before you even get to put your fan in. That would be sad. So we drilled it out. We had to file it down multiple times because I'm not the best jigsaw cutter. Here's, we had a, um, a fine tooth one that we used before, but this one worked beautifully so much faster than the other one that we had. So cut it out, filed it down. Then we attached, um, my dad had some like automotive Bondo stuff with steel fibers and whatnot. And so we just put that all along the edge up there just to make sure that it didn't like give way. It's pretty solid, but just an extra precaution. So we did Got some Bondo. So then we put this butyl tape and lined all the edges and tried to make it as level as possible with this. So we doubled up on the sides because the van's kind of curved. So we did that. It's like this sticky putty stuff. I'll link it in the description below. And then, don't know why I acted country because I'm not. We use these screws right here. Come on. These right here with a little hexagon head to drill into they're not self tapping or anything and they just kind of drilled straight in into through the butyl tape into the van into the wood and they kind of poked out the bottom a little bit I'm not gonna lie so we had to go back later and grind them off but it worked fine we went really slow and I took my time doing it cuz I didn't want to actually put a crack through the van because that would defeat the purpose of everything and that would suck and then after we got it all tightened down, there's 16 of these screws along the top that you have to drill into. Then I got this stuff from Lowe's, the silicone, paintable and waterproof, blah, 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 blah. Um, make sure you get the outdoor exterior, not just the interior kind, but any of that stuff will do. And then sealed it. It's not the best job, but I did it, so that's all that matters. So we cut that off, fit it, marked it how far it needed to be cut, cut it with a die grinder, and then screwed it in with some countersink screws, and it seems to be working. We haven't powered it up yet. The wire is running underneath there and down, and it's going to end up right here and go to my battery in the back. Sorry, the van's a mess. Do you want to say anything? We have already installed the Max Air Fan and now I'm about to seal it with the Flex Seal spray paint. I saw where a lot of people, not spray paint, you know, whatever it is, liquid rubber in a can. I saw where a lot of people use this and they said it lasts for months and somebody also said they sprayed it on top of their camper trailer that I talked to and they said it's great. So, we're going to see how this goes and I'm going to film it because why not? That's how all these kids are making money these days. don't know what it'll look like, but we'll see. Yeah. Don't know. Make sure you're in a nicely ventilated area. Unless you're trying to get high off of flex seal. Maybe I should have read the direction. Let's peel this plastic off, yeah? A. Eh?
Look at that bad boy. I highly recommend the black one. I know it's a little more money, but it just looks better. Come on, guys. It's worth it. If you're investing, go ahead and invest. I'll pick that up. I don't litter, I promise. But look at that. Yes. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm so happy. Ooh, the tree reflection. All right. Good.